Hi, I'm Clayton Kratz from EMF Rod Ends. I'm here to work on the greasing procedure on the knuckles. It's been a little foggy so far, but uh, I think we nailed it this weekend. This is our prototype axle. This is a brand new knuckle. These are our joints. Um, we're going to start off, we've just assembled this and we've just made this, made sure everything's moving clean and free and we don't have anything binding. We're about to grease it. People are always wondering, <coughs> should grease the upper first or the lower first, how much to put in. What we found recently is that you start by greasing the lower, you add one, two, three, four, five, six, it's starting to get tight, seven. So we got seven shots of grease in this lower joint. This is the initial install of the joint. You won't get seven shots in there once you've done this, but on the initial install, you get about seven shots of grease in there. Now, you tighten the joint up so it's going to be stiff. So you're going to move the arm back and forth and work the grease through the joint. It's starting to get easier. Fairly easy. Still a little resistance, which isn't going to matter once you let the truck down on okay. We're here. So we're going to now just add another half shot, maybe a full shot if we can get it in there. One, two, I got three. Okay, so we got three more in there. It's probably gonna be rock hard now. Okay. So we're gonna that back and forth. So there's a little resistance there, but we're not, not gonna worry about it just yet. But it's a lot looser than it was. So we got seven shots of grease into the lower. Now, later on when you're driving your truck, it's not, you're not going to get the seven shots in there. You might get a shot once every 10,000 kilometers, maybe 20,000 kilometers. Once we're done the lower, we're going to move to the upper. The upper has a huge cavity in it, so it's probably going to take about 20 shots or so. So we're going to start off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's starting to get stiff there. 21. 22, you can start seeing the knuckle move just a little bit. 23, 24, 25, 26, it's hard. Move it back and forth, you can hear the grease popping. Grease is starting to come out of the boot. We're gonna give it one more shot for good luck. Knuckle's moving, tiny bit of resistance, more than what it was without the grease in it. But that's perfect. It, it's, that's exactly how you should grease it. So if you're wondering, this is the best way we've found so far for the most longevity out of your knuckles. It'll help when you're re-greasing it to jack the axle off the ground and do it with the wheels unsprung. It just allows the grease to move through the lower joint easier. Um, probably it, oil changes is all we need. We ran our last set of joints, 25,000 K with just assembly grease in it and had not bad wear patterns. So this, this we're getting about 100,000 K. And that's all you need to know. Thank you.